Make sure to book your next fishing trip in Louisiana with a member of the Louisiana Charter Boat Association. Visit lasaltwater.com today. In over 20 years of doing television, one of the best trips we would always make would be to the Big Lake Guide Service in Lake Charles with Captains Jeff, Nick, and Mary Poe. Always a blast. Mike Tenney and Amerilur would come with us. And then the Poes decided to move to Dolphin Island, Alabama in 2020. Well, it's 2022 now, it's after COVID, and we're finally getting a reunion trip over here. Our first time fishing in Dolphin Island, and I'm going to tell you, you're going to have a lot of laughs, you're going to see a lot of fish, and we're going to have a lot of fun, so let's go fishing. Closed captioning is brought to you by the Delta Marina in Empire, Louisiana, featuring newly renovated cabins on the water, a ship store for all of your tackle and food and drink, live shrimp, gas and diesel, a fish cleaning station, and the Ponderosa Grill and Oyster Bar serving South Louisiana cuisine Thursday through Sunday. Visit us online at thedeltamarina.com. Well, day one in Dolphin Island has a chilly start and it's a little bit breezy and we're going to be fishing with Captain Jeff Poe and Mike Tinian. There's so many different places to fish around this area, but with the breeze, we decide to head to this canal that's got a bunch of oyster shells on the bottom and Jeff's been catching a lot of fish there. And as soon as we get there, guess what? Jeff Poe catches the first fish of the day, a nice red fish. Get up here. Jeff makes a cast. He's not even, Jeff's not even trying to fish. He's trying to get in the front of the boat. I'm spinning around. Yeah, I think it's, I'm not sure what it is yet. Boy, there's bust everywhere out here. No, there's a lot of bait. A ton of bait. It's not coming up. No, I'm thinking redfish. Yeah, that's a redfish. Yeah, he's got that head pop. Redfish to start. Well, it's not Louisiana, but no. Still fishing. If Mike was any type, type of a guest, he'd get the uh, net for the you. The net. I think I can handle it. You got one too, Mike? I'm the only one that hasn't caught a fish yet. Imagine that. Sure. Jeff, get up here and we'll, I'll net him for you. Oh, that's a pretty red fish. Yeah, he is ideal. Pretty red fish. There you go. Nice job, Jeff. Yes, sir. <sighs> Got a red Great fish way. on the Little John and a Fine. trout on the Muradine XL. Not what do I have? Uh, Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Flat line. <laughs> we, we, we can still go 200 miles away. We haven't had our annual trip. Normally it's in Big Lake, but the Poes are now in Dolphin Island. So Mike Tennyan's here with Marilor. Jeff Poe's here. Nick Poe is in the other boat, and we are going to have some fun. The challenge is, is am I gonna catch a fish? And I would say no. <laughs> no. So we made the ride from Dolphin Island to this river, and it's fall, and there's bait everywhere. Mike, looks like this will be a good day. Yeah, it does. It looks really fishy in here, Kevin. There's bait flipping, there's mullet jumping. You saw like a big yep, trout. Yeah, a big trout bust. busted right there. Obviously, the it wasn't the one you caught, but. No. <laughs> but yeah, it was a nice. Still a healthy fish look. But yeah, some things never change, huh? No. <laughs> Still yeah. only caught a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Might be time to pop a cork. Don't even <laughs> tempt me, <laughs> Jeff. Look at Jeff in the back. Like, shut up, Mike. <laughs> there we go. What we got? All right, Kevin. Big one? No. -uh. He's huge. All right, trout. Yep. You're on the board. On the board. And it's got spots. It's got spots. So Mike, the baits we're fishing with. You know, look, you know, before we start fishing the baits, the camera boat up here, <laughs> Nick Poe is just, that's not fair, is it? No. Trying to show off, but little trout. Yep, on yeah, a little we were John. On a little John. Watermelon red glitter. Watermelon red glitter. And that is the favorite bait of Jeff and Nick Poe. <laughs> Nick's Look at Nick. Nick's got him a good fish. Yeah, he does. 
There's a little slick. Yeah, Nick caught him a nice red. Well, we're fishing with Captain Jeff Poe today. We're going to fish with Nick Poe tomorrow, but even though Nick Poe's running the camera boat, he cannot resist casting. And of course, he's in the other boat, so he catches a nice red fish. So looks like we're going to be off to a really good start this morning in this canal. Now, I've been fishing with the Poes for over 20 years, and popping corks are kind of a joke. As Jeff's got one. They Ooh, always make fun of my cork. But Jeff, I gave you a chance to catch a bunch of fish early, did I not? You did. So. We didn't take advantage. Didn't take advantage. Ooh, there's a Louisiana keeper. So there's a lot of small fish in here too? Oh yeah. It's just that time of year. And all this is is just a flat two feet, comes off to about six feet. We've seen two redfish, so I'm trying to see if I can catch a red. I'm gonna throw this just for a couple of minutes, but. <laughs> there. What you got, got it? Yeah. Redfish, okay. Yeah. Another yeah. redfish. Oh, no. He got weak. Boy, what happened to him? Maybe Looks like he died. Trout. I think that's a nice trout or what a is little it? redfish. Little redfish. Head on that little John Kevin. Yeah. Nice one, buddy. Because that golden brim got him right in the tongue. Yeah. You were throwing on top of my oyster. Yeah, I was, and he was sitting there just waiting for it. A little future trophy. Ready that to go is. back in and grow up. This is uh, it's nice in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Very nice. And having some issues with the trolling motors. <laughs> having a lot of issues with the trolling motor. I cannot control it at all. Oh, we're just kind of dancing around right now. <laughs> You got one? What you got there, Mike, a red? Redfish? Yeah, so. Does look fish. Definitely redfish. Yeah, I'll get the net. You get the net. I'll treat y'all better than y'all treated me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> That redfish is uh, giving you a whooping, huh? Yeah. I wouldn't say he's giving me a whooping, although he's going to the back of the boat. It'd be really funny if he'd be a oyster. <laughs> I don't think that's a oyster. No, I don't think it'd be an overactive oyster. Come on, Mike. Yeah, that's a nice red. There nice. we go. Yeah, we like him. Yeah. That thing. He did. It's gone. Yeah, you lost your bait. <laughs> now, what's the limit on those, Jeff? Uh, three fish, 16 to 26. So 16 to 26. One over 26. Well, that's a pretty one. Man. Yeah, it is a pretty one. Is that close on the bank at home? Mm -hmm. There you go, Kev. That's a fish. What is it? I got a trout. Well Spotted done. sea trout. Come on, fishy. All right. I'll take him. These little johns have been a, you know, Mike, a lot of people fish with a, a paddle tail bait. They're not used to fishing yeah. with a, a straight tail bait. What, do you, what is it that you like so much about the about the straight tail it's just it casts really well it doesn't helicopter at all you know you can cast it a long distance it goes through the air like a dart and then it you know it really mimics a shrimp bouncing it along the bottom it just has a great action to it and, and there's a slight really well. scent to it yes there is a nice shrimp scent to it as well we're all got him yeah so very big oh yeah nice is it yeah, it's a nice fish, Jeff. He's just coming in real easy. Yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. I thought you said he wasn't very big. 
He wasn't doing a whole lot. Yeah, I don't know what you expected. Well, I wasn't looking at that. We were looking at you. God, yeah. oh, that was a redfish. You think? Yeah. He picked it up and was gone. That one works. That's a, about a 15 incher. Yeah, about a 16. And they have to be 16. And a half. Yeah, they got to be 15. 15 inches. Today's Tackle Box is brought to you by the Louisiana Charter Boat Association. Book your adventure today. We're really excited about some of the new baits we got coming out. One of the newest ones is one people have been asking us for a long time. It's the 28MR. It's the sinking version of the Muradine XL, the 27. Years ago, we came out, we had the Muradine, and then there was a lot of people that were wanting to get it down to sink a little bit. So they were adding suspending dots and stuff like that to the 17 so that it would sink more. Well, what we did was we added a little weight and we made an 18 and an 18 is a sinking heavy, hev, or a sinking Miradine. So now we have a sinking heavy Dean XL, which is a little bit bigger profile. It's got a little bigger, bigger profile in the water, puts a little bit more flash in the water. It's gonna get down a little bit deeper, especially for the winter time, stuff like that, when fish are sitting a little deeper, or just, you know, even in the summertime, if they're wanting to get a little cooler water down a little bit, you know, it's gonna be a great bait. We're excited. It's in all the same colors as in um, normal Miradine. So you're going to want to go out and get some. You know they're begging. You got one? Yeah, he's small. I think he's small. Is that small? Yeah, he's pretty small. But he's fit. Good fish. Yeah, he's growing. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Well, he's fat. Lots to eat. So, that was on the Little John again, huh? Yeah, Little John. Is he hitting close to the mm -hmm. bank on that? Or? No, he was probably halfway back, something like that. Nice he was, little, uh, I think he the was only on him. What are these things feeding on? Well, right in here, there's a lot of finger mullet. Yeah. Right now, there's some pogies. I don't think this fish keeps. So, that's different from Louisiana. It, Yeah, he does keep. You're not used to measuring him, huh? No, <laughs> yeah. Well, we had a great time fishing in the canal, but the bite kind of quit and the wind died down a little bit. So we decided to make a run and we're going to a place where they actually grow oysters. The University of Auburn has this here. And where there's oysters, there's more fish. Small. And these are little bitty ones. A displaced Louisiana trout. Yeah, another one. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he's a, a 14 incher. Future trophy. Yep, that's it. God, he ate it too. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. If he'd done the worst for wear, that would be a. Nice one. This one. Yeah. Why do you think those fish stay up right here on these oyster farms, Jeff? They uh, well, it's just like a you know a natural oyster reef, and that you know the oysters when they spawn, uh, when they're spawning, the uh, oyster larvae you know float floating in the water column mm -hmm. and everything that filter feeds, like mullet, pogies and all that, you know, they come in and feed on that, and then, which in turn, you know, brings the predator fish mm -hmm. in the specks. And you catch some reds here, but it's mainly trout. You'd think you'd have triple tail yeah. around these things, but I, 
I'm yet to see one. Well, there are some similarities when you're fishing Alabama and Louisiana, obviously you're fishing trout and redfish. The canal we started in today, there's a lot of places in Louisiana like that. But Jeff, we made a move, caught a couple of small trout, and this is an oyster farm, right? Right, that's what it is. They, uh, you know, they, they go on from a spad all the way to marketable size, and it does not take that long. I think it is just a little over a year, I think. Uh, but it, uh, it's a great place to catch fish because it's just like a natural reef. I mean, they, you know, the oysters spawn while they're in here. And when they spawn, you know, the larva comes up and then everything that's a filter feeder, such as pogies or mullet, you right. know, hang out. And then that in turn draws the speckled trout in here. Make sure to book your next fishing trip in Louisiana with a member of the Louisiana Charter Boat Association. Visit lasaltwater.com today. So we continue to move around and we're fishing by this island, catching a few small white trout. And then we look in the distance and we see pelicans just diving everywhere. And when you see pelicans like this diving in the fall, there's gonna be big fish and that's what we're after next. Uh, yeah, I saw some too. Yeah, it's redfish, I see them. It's, it's redfish. Redfish. All right, we're about to catch some redfish now. We're in these birds and there are a bunch of redfish in here. So, Jeff's fighting his. Mike's fighting his. Mike's fighting his. And we just gotta look and find where they are. Well, you find these pelicans like this. You know, we were fishing a couple of weeks ago in Venice, and you know, Venice isn't really far from here. We were talking about it and we pulled up. This time of year, when you see these pelicans diving, very good chance you're gonna find these bull reds. I mean, that's what we look for, fishing the dirty water out of Venice. We just look for these big old flocks of pelicans. Boy, he got mad in a hurry. There he is. Yeah, maybe he is pretty big. Yeah, he is pretty <laughs> big. You think so? Yeah, a little big. Look how pretty he is there. Mm -hmm. I don't think he tastes good. No, but he was fun to catch. <laughs> well, at least he would have been. I can't believe you missed that fish right on the side of him. Crazy how he came right up with him. Oh, I yeah, so we had a redfish that just came right up on the side of this one. Well, I think I'm gonna let him keep my jig. See it? I mean, we had one. We tap. had one. The same exact thing last week. We did the same exact thing. I mean, I felt the tap and set the hook immediately. You know, yep. He just inhaled it. Makes you want to throw a topwater bait out there so he could do the same thing. Yeah. Pretty, pretty red. Look how. Go. go get some more. Yep. Look how pretty he is. All right, hang on. There you go. Oh. <laughs> you got a fish? No, I got your motor. Or right, I got a fish. Yeah, I got a fish. <laughs> I was getting a backlash out. Leave it to me. <laughs> that's that's just, I mean, yeah. it's... Mike! Kevin strikes uh, again. I <laughs> strike again. Monster. Yeah, he is a pretty good one. I bet you that jig is swallowed. No, it's not. It's right in the corner. Oh, come on. Don't get that mad now. Come up. This is about as hard a fighting fish as you're going to get. Oh, oh, oh. oh finally. Yes, it is. Oh, oh. That is a big jack. Look at that hook. Look, Look at this. The hook. Oh my gosh. That's a big jack. All right, that was fun. <laughs> I wonder how much he weighs. I bet he's over 25 pounds. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a... yeah. Get him out of your net before he breaks it. Yep, you get a prize, Kevin. Well, oh look, he, look, look at this, look at the hook. He broke the end of the hook <laughs> and he was still. Broke when you got him in the boat. Is that incredible? It is. Oh wow, what a big old jack. I'm telling you. you Mike's walk? used to catching these things, so we'll let him show him off. Because I, I can't lift him. I can't lift anything else. That's a big jack. That is a big that jack. Is a big jack. Good job, Kevin. <sighs> you want to let him go? Uh, I'll let you let him go. I can't feel my <laughs> arms. So we're here on, we're gonna go right here. And we're gonna let him go. Mm. 
I think he's ready. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man. Hey. Oh, that was fun. Good job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that jack absolutely wore me out, and that's going to be a wrap for part one of our trip in Dauphin Island, Alabama. Got to thank the Poes, Captain Jeff Poe, Captain Nick Poe, Real Gypsy Fishing Charters, Mike Tinian of Marilor. This place is awesome, and we are having a blast. And you're going to see a lot more, including some super flounder action on part two of our trip to Dauphin Island. For producer Logan Brown, I'm Kevin Ford, and we'll see you next time right here on Let's Go Fishing with Kevin Ford.